I'm going to turn the floor back over to my studio guests. Once again, Dave McGraw and Kimberly Feeling. Uh, you guys are Feeling? Yeah. Fearly. 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 I'm trying to, I'm, I can't read my writing, so I'm, I'm going to maybe have her print this for me. Hey, Kevin, you know, I'd like to respond to that uh, previous caller. I was a somewhat mm-hmm. hostile caller, but I, I find it odd that someone would call in and say, well, Romney's the only one that can get delegates, so I'm going to go vote for Romney. And that just doesn't make any sense. I mean, where's the logic in some of these folks? And they're, and they're expecting to make changes in our society by, with that kind of logic, I'm, I'm, I'm just dumbfounded. I mean, if, if Romney's the only one that can get delegates, why bother voting for Romney? I mean, if that's the case, then what is the point? I mean, it, it's just nonsensical. I'm, I mean, I struggle with that kind of logic from time to time. It's just crazy talk. But fascinatingly enough, um, Ron Paul has a real shot. It's a small shot. But, you know, so many of the folks that are going to be going from state conventions to the national convention are Ron Paul supporters. They're pledged to vote for Romney in the first round at the National Convention, but they are Ron Paul people, and they want more than anything in this life to vote for Ron Paul at the Republican National Convention in, It's going to be held in Tampa this year. So, you know, whenever you think that Romney's got people, he doesn't. We got the people to the caucuses. They're Ron Paul people. They came from all over the country, from states that Ron Paul lost, massively lost in some of the states, we still have our people are going to Tampa. So if, if Romney doesn't make his 1,191 delegates in Tampa and get it in the first round of voting, those people are all able to, to vote their conscience in, in, the, in the secondary rounds, expect a miracle. So get down there, vote for Ron Paul, learn how to become a delegate, go to the state convention, elect delegates to the national convention that are Ron Paul supporters, and we need to take and restore America. It's so important, these rhinos... These uh, people that are, are pretend Republican conservatives, we need to get rid of them. We need to get a true conservative in there. The only true conservative is Ron Paul. Yeah, and people are willing to make this commitment and spend the time and spend the money to go vote for Ron Paul because he is the only one that is going to reduce our debt. I don't care where you disagree with him on any issue, whether it be social or military. What you have to realize is that you, the United States of America has four, you know, uh, $14 trillion in debt. You cannot run a country with $14 trillion in debt. That debt is not just going to go away. All of a sudden, we're not just going to have more resources to pour into our government so we can get rid of our debt. It's going to keep growing. And every single day, the value of your dollar is going down. So if you love your social programs and you love your big, huge national defense and you want to see some of those things uh you know, to continue, then you have to understand that you have to do something proactively immediately about the debt of our government. And there is not a single other candidate that is willing to step up to the plate and make the hard decisions that need to be made and cut down that debt. And like we said earlier, $1 trillion within the first year. And I'd also like to remind everybody, too, that Ron Paul said if he was elected, effective immediately, he would change the president's uh, yearly salary to $39,000 so that it's on line with the median average income of other American citizens. Oh, and you know, when Glenn called me today and asked me to, to sit in for him, I was, I was just thinking, man, I hope I don't have a whole bunch of real fervent, passionate people on here, because those are the people you can't listen to. And, oh, my God, we've just, you, <laughs> you guys have lived up to the billing. I appreciate that. Like, you're helping me out a bunch here. Um, you know, for the, for, the, for the folks that aren't as familiar with, with the Ron Paul program, the Ron Paul uh, campaign as the others, his website is up. It's, of course, ronpaul.com, Ron Paul for President. Um, he's got listings on there as, as pro-energy policies. He's got free market solutions. One of the things that, that, that immediately kind of jumped out at me with being an Alaskan and being someone that's been involved in the education process is, is Ron Paul's basic positions on homeschooling, Department of Education, and those things. And you guys like to, like to reiterate some of that? Well, there again, you get into just some of the you – you can't trust most of these candidates. You know, Rick Santorum it runs as a conservative, and yet – once he gets in there, he, he increased, you know, the conservative position, starting with Ronald Reagan, was that the national government, the federal government, had no business in, in, involved in education. It's just a, a ridiculous place for them to be. We don't see anything for that in the Constitution. And Reagan, when he got elected, was going to get rid of it. Well, he couldn't get rid of the, of the National uh, Department of Education. Ron Paul's going to try again. But what's fascinating is Rick Santorum supposedly was against it, but once he's in there, then he, he votes to double the size of it. It's just, it's just beyond me why folks think that they can elect these guys that have a proven track record of, of flip-flopping and, and expect anything different. 
Well, that's good. Like, once again, we've got a lot of information today. We have some people calling in here, 274-KBYR, 1-866-610-KBYR. For those guys that are outside of our calling area, it's a toll-free call. Otherwise, you guys will be forced to listen to me all day, and that's not something that anybody wants to do. I can trust you. I can give you my wife's reference for that if you'd like that. Um, I appreciate all the passion that we see out here. We have a beautiful day outside today. The Republican presidential preference poll is going on. Please take a look at, at your polling area. Go down, make a presence. You know, everybody we hear for years and years and years, and nobody listens to Alaska, nobody listens to us. I don't vote, I don't participate, because nobody listens. If, if you don't go out and you don't vote, if you don't go out and give your preference up to this stuff, somebody else is talking for you. Somebody else is, is taking your position, whether you like it or not. They're making it appearance that you're giving them the authority to talk for them. Uh, we're going to be back in a minute. 700 KBYR, 274 KBYR, give us a call. We will be back in a bit. Thank you, volunteers, for coming in. Thank you. Thanks a lot. We'll see you in a minute. We're going to move over here and get a better connection for you here. Uh, hey, how about Chris? Chris, you on the line? Can you hear me? I can hear you now. Yep. Welcome to the Glenn Beagle hey. Program. Thanks for having me on the show. Hey, I just wanted to talk real quick about the electability of the candidates. It seems to me like, you know, one of the most important things that we need to be focused on as Republicans is Obama in the general election. And just based on the polling data and my understanding of the candidate, it, it just... I'm, I'm getting some crosstalk from another caller. <laughs> yeah, that's. I, th I think that's what that is. Is That's Mike down in, uh, I believe, uh, Ohio right now. Uh, with the campaign mike if you could kind of uh cover your mic there or something we, we're having a little trouble with the sound uh, we're getting feedback from the uh the actual campaign uh, headquarters there if you could work help us on that okay so um yeah we hear you a lot better now chris all right excellent so basically it seems to me that um of all of the candidates you got to really look at who's going to have the most appeal to the crossover vote come november and right now, it seems like just overwhelmingly that's, that's going to be Ron Paul. And any of these other guys, if you look at uh, Gingrich and Santorum especially, they really don't have the appeal to the independents or the Democrats. And we need some of those voters to come our way. We need the majority of them to come our way or we're going to lose. And Ron Paul really does have that crossover appeal. And recent polling data actually supports that. If you look at the recent polls, he does the best against Obama. So to me, it, it seems like a vote for any of the other guys is a vote for Obama in November, and I really think that you need to consider that when you're choosing who you want to support.